Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. This is our final day of the RC for um, for the Monday through Friday group. Um, so welcome, welcome to Friday. I think we can all welcome Friday in with a long deep breath. Let that exhale release the week, release the passion and intensity and stimulation that you have been experiencing all week and simply be here in this moment on your mat. Such a gift that you've given to yourself to carve out this time. There's nothing else expected of you. You've already put it in your planner that you're busy from 9 to 9.45 Central Time. Carved it out. So give yourself a little bit of gratitude here this morning. Thanksgiving for that pre-planning so that you can be here to let the breath be your guide, soften through the body, awaken the spirit. And as we spend a moment in silence, we can feel into the workings of the body. Maybe the mind is feeling a little strong this morning, so possibly encourage it to come down into the breath to enter the body. Notice what's happening for you. Are you feeling alert, awake, excited, feeling a bit run down, exhausted? Just notice what's coming in. Our yoga practice gives us the opportunity to notice the body without judgment. We're seated in our space on our mat. And just to let whatever comes be. You don't have to attach a story or a judgment to it. That reality can be a bit of relief at times. Taking this moment of inventory, just bringing into your awareness any area that might need a little extra love in this practice. Maybe bringing into your awareness any area that needs some caution. And with our next inhale, we'll bring that breath all the way down into the low belly. Feel the belly expand in all directions, even pressing up through the low back. And with the exhale, slowly start to rotate the pelvis, rocking from one sits bone to the other. And gently change directions. Encouraging a little spiral movement through the spine. And coming back to center. Inhale, we'll let our arms reach out at a T, reaching through the fingers, lift through the heart. Turn the palms to face the heavens. And on the exhale, backs of the hands come together, belly button in towards spine, tuck the chin. Inhale, open, palms to the heavens. Exhale, belly button in. Inhale, open. And exhale, belly button in. Interlace those fingers out in front with our inhale, palms rise to the sky. Sit up tall, lift through the center of the head, reach the palms to the heavens. Lengthen through those arms, bring a little fire into the body, deep breath. And 
to exhale, arc to the right. Keep both of those sits bones planted into the earth. Slowly make your way back to center on the inhale. Exhale to the left. And slowly back to center. Let those hands float down by our sides. We're gonna reach towards the edges of the mat. Lift through the center of the head. Right ear comes towards right shoulder. Let me reach through those left fingers here, creating a nice long line from the tips of the fingers up and out the center of the head. We're gonna keep the ear pressed towards that right shoulder and just gently rotate the chin towards the chest. Maybe now turning the palm to face behind you. Again, continue letting the ear stay towards the shoulder. We'll come back to midline and return to center. Left ear towards left shoulder, reaching through those right fingers. And gently rotate chin towards chest. Maybe turn that palm of the right hand to face behind you. And slowly come all the way back through center. A couple of big shoulder rolls here up and behind us. And we'll change directions. And slowly slide off that cushion. If you are seated up on one, set that to our side. We're gonna bring our feet directly out in front, toes reaching up towards the ceiling. Getting right up on top of those sit bones. Kneecaps come back toward you, lift the heels, activate those quads, reach through the center of the heel, all the way out in front. Arms rise up. Strong belly here on the exhale, we'll fold forward. Belly button comes in towards the spine. Throw the fingers way out over the toes as you come down into your forward fold, letting the gaze drop to the knees. We can bring a little bit of a bend in those knees, especially if it's bright and early where you are. We just rolled out of bed and might wanna give ourselves a little extra time. Keep rolling the sits bones out behind. And we'll take a couple more deep breaths here. Maybe lengthening one leg and then the other. And with our inhale, slowly making our way back to center. We're gonna bring the right leg with us and then cross that right leg over the left. We're gonna give the knee a great big hug with the inside of the left elbow. Bringing that knee in toward you, sitting up nice and tall, lengthening through the center of the head. And on our exhale, we're gonna to turn towards the right. Use the belly to twist. And once you feel that you've gone as far as the body's gonna let you go, that right hand can come down behind as an anchor. We wanna really think about using the belly to help us twist. Lift through the center of the head. Exhale, twist deeper. Maybe gaze over the right shoulder. One more breath here. And with the exhale, gently unwind. We'll uncross that right leg, place the sole of the foot on the left inner thigh. Left leg stays out in front, arms rise. On the exhale, we'll fold forward. Again, belly button comes in towards the spine as we fold down, creating lots of room for that forward fold. Rolling the sits bones out behind us, eventually letting the gaze drop to the knee. And with our next inhale, slowly come back to center. Left foot will come in to meet the right. We'll find Baddha Konasana. Interlace the fingers around the toes. Let's take a couple seated cat and cows. Just enjoying the length of the spine. And with our next inhale, come back to center. Right leg extends out in front. We'll stand that left knee and cross it over the right. Give the knee a great big hug with the inside of the right elbow. Again, we're lifting tall through the center of the head. Use the belly to twist. 
Left hand then comes down behind us. Gaze over the left shoulder. Reach through that right heel. And with our exhale, we'll slowly unwind, coming back to center. We're gonna uncross the leg, place the sole of the foot on the inner thigh. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, we'll fold forward. Letting the gaze drop towards that right knee. Again, maybe keep that knee bent a little bit. We really wanna protect the back of the knee and the hamstring. And we'll find our breath here. And with our next inhale, slowly come back to center. We're gonna bring right foot in to meet the left, finding Baddha Konasana, get right up on top of those sits bones, and then start to walk the hands out in front. Keep a nice long spine here as we come into a gentle forward fold. We're breathing into those inner thighs. If it feels comfortable for you to let go of head, neck, and shoulders, you can let your gaze come to your toes. And with our next inhale, slowly press up, coming back to center. We're gonna take our time coming down onto one side. We'll, we'll come down, either side is fine. What works better for you and your space. We're gonna keep the bottom leg nice and long. So lengthen out that bottom leg and flex the foot. You're welcome to hold the head and the hand or you can come down onto the bicep, whichever feels more right for you. And then the top leg comes in. We've got some options here. You can hold on to the hamstring and then extend the leg to the sky, or you can reach for the toes and then extend the leg to the sky. So we're reaching through that heel as if we're trying to press our heel onto the ceiling, balancing on this lateral edge of the body, and we'll breathe here. Taking a couple long deep breaths as we settle, you might notice the body making these micro adjustments as it rocks from side to side, finding its point of balance. And with our exhale, we'll bend the knee. We're gonna place that foot right in front of the hip crease of that opposite leg. So that knee is standing. You're welcome to hold on to that heel if that feels most right for you. And then we're gonna lift the lower leg. Keep that foot flexed, lifting the leg off of the earth. And we're gonna make little rectangles as if we were just tracing the perimeter of a shoebox. So these are small movements. And then change directions. Again, just about the size, imagine a shoebox down at the bottom of your foot. And from here, slowly release. We're gonna lengthen out that top leg, full body stretch here, resting on the lateral edge of the body. And with our exhale, we'll bend the knees. We're gonna keep those knees stacked. So imagine that that we want to try to not let that top knee slide back when we move through these motions. So those legs or those knees are gonna stay um, kissing through this next set of motions. Our arms are gonna come out in front as if we've got a big um, alligator bill. And with our next inhale, we're gonna lift the top arm and bring it behind us. Again, as that top arm comes back, we wanna be mindful that we're not sliding the top leg. So we're really focusing on thoracic spine. We keep that top leg, we glued into the bottom one and then we can kind of walk in our, our lumbar spine and really let this movement focus on the thoracic. So we're gonna move with our breath, our inhale we open and our exhale brings us back into our alligator mouth. We'll do two more. And last one. and coming back to center. We're gonna keep the heels touching and then the hips are gonna stay stacked. So with our next inhale, we're gonna lift that top knee. So we don't, again, don't wanna slide back that same concept. 
Keep the hips in line, lift through the knee, heels stay kissing, and then exhale, release. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Lots of engagement in those lateral rotators, engaging the glutes. We'll do two more. And last one. And from here, we're gonna take our time rolling over onto our bellies. Palms come directly underneath the armpits and we'll lift for Cobra. Gaze out in front. Exhale, release down and we'll press back for child's pose. I'm gonna take a long deep breath here. And with your next exhale, coming all the way back down onto the mat and rolling onto the other side. I'm gonna switch sides so I can continue facing you, but you can just roll on over to that other side. We're gonna keep the bottom leg nice and long, flexing through that bottom foot. Top leg comes in, either holding hamstring or holding onto the foot and then extend to the sky. Again, you can hold the head in your hand or you can lay the ear down on the bicep. We're gonna reach through that heel, place the print of the heel on the sky above you. We'll take a couple of deep breaths. And slowly release, we'll place that foot just in front of the opposite hip crease. From here, we're gonna lift the bottom leg and we'll lift it about as high as we can get it and then make those little rectangles the size of a shoe box. And we'll change direction. One more here. And release. Go ahead and straighten that top leg, arms up overhead, full body stretch. And then we'll bend the knees in, arms come out in front, stack those knees, palms come to touch. And with our inhale, we'll open one. Again, keep those knees directly on top of one another. Be mindful that that top leg doesn't slide as we open up. Open with the inhale, exhale, release. And last one. And as we come back to center, we're gonna keep the heels together and the hips stacked. Inhale, we'll lift that top leg, cage the glutes, and cage the lateral rotators, and release. Lift and hold. Exhale down. Lift. And exhale. Two more. And last one. And release. From here, we'll roll over onto our back. Knees come into the chest. Give a great big hug here with a gentle rock from side to side. We're gonna place our hands on our shins. From here, bring the knees in towards us, open the knees wide and then press them away. And then knees come back in, making big circles here. Open wide, press away and back in. Open, press, and in. We'll change directions, press away. Open wide. One more here. And back to center. We've got a couple of options. We're gonna come to a seated position. You can roll over onto one side and then press up, or you can get a little momentum going, a little rock and roll, maybe tap into your youth and come all the way up to a seated position. 
feet are going to stay cross leg or stay um, towards one another with the knees bent, getting right up on top of the sit bones, and we take that forward fold. Inhale, rising high. We're going to place our hands behind us, stand the knees, and then bring the feet about hip width or slightly, um, slightly wider. And then we want the heels to be a fair distance away from the pelvis. We're going to lean back into those elbows, cross the left ankle on top of the right quad and flex the left foot, and then we'll press up, sitting up nice and tall. From here, we can lift the right toes towards the sky or maybe bring the right heel towards the pelvis. And we can kind of shimmy our way into a position that feels most right this morning, breathing into that left hip. And from here, we'll release, slowly unwind. Right ankle comes on top of the left quad, flex that right foot, and then sit up tall. Again, you can lift the left toes or maybe bring the left heel closer to that left glute. Hands can point away from you if that feels better on the wrists. We'll take one more breath. And with our exhale, gently release and unwind. Cross the legs, rock forward, and find tabletop. Palms directly below the shoulders. Belly button peels up and away from the earth. Hips are right over those knees. I'm going to take a long, deep breath here. And then step the feet back. We'll find plank. Feel the belly up and away from the earth, strong through the belly, strong through the spine. And then gently tap those knees down onto the mat. So we're at a little bit of an angle here, rather than having the knees directly below the hips, we've got the knees slightly at an angle behind the hips. We're gonna press the hands into the earth, keep those elbows in close to us, and we're gonna lower down just halfway. Strong belly, and then press up, and release. Hips come back towards the heels. And with our inhale, shift forward. Exhale, elbows bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, release. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale back, hips reach for those heels. Inhale forward. Exhale halfway. Inhale lift. Exhale child's pose. Hands can come down by our sides. We can release those toes and breathe here. Maybe roll out the wrists if that feels good for you. Give a little bit of a stretch, wiggle the fingers. And from here, we'll make our way back into tabletop. Curl the toes under and we find downward dog. Shift the weight into the heels, lift the sits bones to the sky. Take a long breath here. And with our inhale, left foot's going to fly to the heavens, point through those left toes, and then bring the left foot all the way up in between the hands. We've got a warrior two stance here, so a little bit wider than warrior one, and then we rise up. Gaze is over those left fingers. Soften the shoulders, reach through the fingers. Left knees directly above or somewhere behind the ankle. Heel of the left foot in line with the instep of the right. With our next inhale, we're gonna make our way into triangle. So we're gonna straighten through that left leg first, being mindful not to lock out, and then reach through those left fingers. From here, the left hand will come down on the inside of that left leg. Now we've got lots of options. This might be right where your body lands, and you wanna stay right here, about hand at the knee, or maybe even hand at the inner thigh. If it feels good for you to bring those fingers towards the earth without compromising the chest, then feel free to come on down. 
We don't want to let the chest drop towards the earth. So we want to keep this right hip rolled up and back, shoulders stay stacked, fingers reaching for the sky. Being mindful that we're not dropping into this left hand. We don't want all of our weight to hang here. Strong through the belly, triangle the strong pose. So do what's right for you. And from here, we're gonna bend the left knee and rise back up for warrior two. Lots of strength in that left leg, as well as in the right side body. Exhale, peaceful warrior. And inhale, warrior two. From here, we'll find five-pointed star. Turn all 10 toes to face forward. Lift through the heart, reach through the fingers, being mindful that we're not locking the knees. And exhale, we'll find warrior two on the right. Check the alignment, soft shoulders, long fingers. One more deep breath here. And with our inhale, we'll straighten through the right leg. Reach through those right fingers as we fold towards our side. And then the right hand comes down. Again, maybe it just lands around the knee. Maybe it comes towards the earth, but we want to be real mindful that we're not dropping the shoulder or rotating the chest to the floor. Lift through those left fingers. This left hip is reaching towards the sky, rolling around behind us. Chest is open. One more deep breath here. And then we'll bend that right knee, strong in the right leg. Bring ourselves back to warrior two. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, warrior two. And from here, we'll windmill to the earth and step back for downward dog. Pedal out the feet, shift your weight from left to right, roll those sit bones to the heavens. Maybe gently shake the head yes or shake the head no. One more deep breath here. And we're gonna bring our feet to the outer edges of the mat. Walk the hands back a step or two so we're in a short, stout downward dog. And then from here, the left hand is gonna to come to the outside of the right ankle maybe gazing under the right armpit. From here, we're breathing into the space between left shoulder and spine, really opening through the rhomboids. Releasing that left rotator cuff. And make our way back into our short stout dog. Right hand comes to the outside of the left ankle. Feeling that stretch wrap all the way to the spine. And from here, we'll slowly unwind, walk those feet in back to our hip width. Hands come out, we find plank. And then knees come to the earth and we shift back for child's pose. Breathe here. With our next inhale, we're gonna press up for hero. Knees point directly out in front. Our sits bones rest in between the heels. Thighs come to touch. Roll those shoulders back and we sit up tall. And breathing in the intention of this posture, hero pose on our knees, lifting through the center of the head, feeling that humility and humbleness attached to the hero's way. Breathing into our belly. And with our exhale, slowly come forward, crisscross the feet behind us and come down onto the bottoms of our feet out in front. Arms rise to the sky and we fold forward. 
I'm just taking a moment to rest in this forward fold, noticing any difference from the first one you did this morning. Maybe feeling there's a little bit more room. Maybe the knees feel a little softer. And with our next inhale, we'll rise up. Go ahead and scooch those sits bones forward. We're gonna make our way to the floor. Again, a couple of options here. You're welcome to just roll on down onto your back. If you wanna add a little bit of core strength here, you can bring your hands by your sides of your knees. Belly button comes in towards the spine and we create a C curve with the spine as we rock back onto that sacrum. We can lower down to the earth one vertebrae at a time. That belly stays nice and strong as we come down. Compress the hands into the legs for a little bit of resistance and support. Rolling all the way down one vertebrae at a time. And we make our way onto our back. Arms come up overhead, legs straighten on the earth, and we take a full deep belly breath. On the exhale, hands come down by our sides. We're going to bring the right knee into the chest and then gently bring this right knee across the left side of the body. You can bring that knee down towards the earth as the right arm extends out, enjoying a little spinal twist. And from here, making your way back to center, and we extend the right leg. Left knee comes in, give that left knee a great big hug, and then bring the left across the right side of the body. Again, that knee can come towards the earth as the left arm extends out, maybe even bringing your gaze over the left shoulder. And from here, slowly coming back through center, giving that knee one more great big hug and then extending the leg to the earth. We'll bring our arms up overhead. We're gonna walk our feet to the bottom right corner, cross the left foot over. Hands go to the upper right corner and we'll hold onto that left wrist. We're breathing down the left side of the body. Releasing from the left pinky finger all the way into the left pinky toe. Letting go of the triceps, releasing through the lats and carries. Just letting that whole side body soften. And from here, we come back to center. Full body stretch, and then walk the feet to the bottom left corner. Cross the right foot over. Hands go to the upper left corner and we'll put on that right wrist, breathing on the right side of the body. Right pinky finger to right pinky toe. And letting go of the right spine all the way down the body. And from here, we'll slowly come back to center. Take that full body breath. And then hands can come down by our sides. We're gonna let the feet flap open. Let the hands come down so they're open to the space in the room. Feel the knuckles resting into the earth, holding the palms open, fingers unfurled. Backs of the arms are making contact with the mat. Shoulders roll down and back. Can you feel the back of the heart really rooting into the earth, allowing the front of the heart to be open and expansive? Neck is soft and long as the base of the head lifts up away from the earth and then lands down the back of the cranium making contact with the neck. Crown of the head is open and expansive. Eyes are soft, and let the jaw rest. Maybe place the tongue right behind the front two teeth where the teeth meet the roof of the mouth. Cheeks are soft, lips are soft. 
letting go of everything that we've said today, everything we're going to say, everything we should have said, everything we shouldn't have said. Let it all go in the softening of the lips and the cheeks. Letting go of everything that we've seen today, everything we will see. Letting the eyeballs soften into the socket. Letting go of all of the sounds that have come in, all the sounds that will come in, those we enjoy, those we don't enjoy, letting it all go, letting the ears straight towards the earth. The next inhale helps us open into heart center, releasing across the chest. Exhale, softens through the ribs, the diaphragm, the low belly. The hips and pelvis are supported by the sacrum so they can remain open and at rest, slightly turned out, allowing the legs to be soft. Knees are floating, calves are holding the lower leg. And the heels are grounding us into the earth so the feet can float in space. Recognizing this place as an opportunity for deep rest and restoration. Honoring the mind, body, and spirit. Noticing if there are any tensions that are trying to creep back in to either body or mind. And we have the breath available and waiting, always ready to help soften the tensions, let them go. Giving the mind the opportunity to focus on the spaciousness of the body rather than the contraction. Maybe in turn allowing itself some spaciousness, space between thoughts, space between breath, space behind the eyes, space between the ears. Giving ourselves the opportunity to become increasingly curious about the space. Letting go of the tensions, letting go of the contractions. Being here in this moment, long, deep inhale. Long, deep exhale. You notice that the mind takes off wandering around onto thoughts, worries, to-do lists, whatever it may be. Just encourage the mind to come back into that spaciousness, that space between inhale and exhale. Space between exhale and inhale. As the mind becomes increasingly curious about this space, what once seemed momentary can seem expansive, letting that space take up a life of its own.
And with your next inhale, bring your awareness into the palms of your hands. Notice what you're noticing. Maybe heat from the body, cool air from the room. Recognizing the space in the palm. Space between thumb and first finger. Between thumb and pinky finger. And slowly let the fingers curl in. And give a gentle squeeze of the palm. Maybe roll the wrists. And slowly release, letting the fingers unfurl. Awareness comes down into the feet. Simply notice. The air from the room, maybe the texture of a sock. Toes floating. And give a gentle wiggle, maybe point and flex. Rotating the ankle in one direction and then the other. Maybe even a gentle windshield wiper, dropping both feet to the right and then to the left. And slowly allow that right heel to slide up the mat, making its way to the right sits bone and stay on the knee. Left heel slides up the mat, making its way to the left sits bone and stay on the knee. Gently pick up the hips, shift them in one direction, and let the body roll into the other direction. And as you're ready, you can begin pressing up to a comfortable seated position. Maybe perched upon your cushion or simply cross-legged on the mat. Maybe finding a chair. Taking this moment to orient to a new upright posture. And with our next inhale, we'll take a long deep breath as the arms rise to the sky, breathing in the merit and the abundance of our practice. On the exhale, hands come to heart center. I wanna thank you all for joining us this morning. And thank you to those who are watching on the recording. Hope that you have a wonderful day. Be inspired, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.